Welcome to another video, and welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it on social media, and be sure to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Let's get into it. Few Americans have been as affected by a map-making error as the people of Northwest Angle, Minnesota. Looking at the Northwest Angle on a map, it's puzzling trying to understand how the heck this small piece of land is not part of Canada. Back in the late 1700s, when the U.S. was hastily figuring out where its border with what was then a British colony, later becoming Canada, an incomplete map created this unique settlement. For Northwest Angle, not only doesn't it connect to the rest of Minnesota, it also doesn't share a land border with any part of the U.S. The settlement finds itself essentially locked inside Canada, completely surrounded by Canadian land to its north, east, and west with the only non-border crossing access being by boat via the Lake of the Woods to its south, when not frozen. With Manitoba on one side, Ontario on two, and the Lake of the Woods to the south, the residents of Northwest Angle, or the Angle, or the Chimney, or Top of the Nation, as it's sometimes called, are forced to have a passport just to travel 100 kilometers to the nearest other settlement. While the Angle sports one store, a restaurant, one post office, a one-room schoolhouse, and a small church, it's not the sort of place where one goes back to town when they discover they forgot milk. That makes the local convenience store essential and means the store carries a huge variety of products. If you prefer staying indoors, odds are you won't enjoy life in the Angle. Fishing is popular in the Angle year-round, and tourism forms a big part of the local economy. Other popular local hobbies are hiking and boating. Getting into the town is easier than most border crossings. There is no staffed border crossing, only an iPad which visitors must use to gain permission to enter. But with local authorities being lax and even enforcing entry, it may be the easiest part of the U.S. to get into from Canada. Still, visitors are expected to have a passport, which makes dropping by for dinner hard for many Americans. There are currently no car ferries operating the lake, so vehicles coming from Minnesota have no way of reaching the angle except going up north around through the Canadian border. In 2021, when the Canadian border was closed due to the pandemic, locals plowed a toll road across the ice, giving direct access to the mainland. Toll fees cost around $250 USD per vehicle. The road was initially 35 kilometers long and later extended to 60 kilometers. The Angle has one airport, but unfortunately it is private and thus not opened to the public. Back in 2019, a petition was launched by an unknown originator for Northwest Angle to be handed over to Canada. Most of the residents reacted with amusement and nothing has come of it since. It seems as though the residents like and are even proud of their situation. This was not the first time this issue has risen its head. In the 1990s, a bill went so far as the floor of the Minnesota Congress that would have empowered the residents to choose to join Canada. It was all part of a stunt designed to push the state, and beyond that, the federal government, to intercede when Canada introduced regulations that banned fishing in Ontario waters, unless one was lodged in Ontario itself. The stunt paid off, and Canada lifted the restrictions. It's likely Canada would welcome Northwest Angle into their fold, for now, however, this unprecedented situation remains a fact of life for residents and visitors alike. One never knows what the future holds, but, for now, nothing is likely to change.